All right, I thought that folks would um, want to see what it's like to cut my current build, which is a personal build of Comic Hunters. So basically what I've done here is I've created a print and play layout that is um, a six card grid with bleed. And so what that does is it allows the image of the front and the back to bleed out beyond the card outlines. So what that effectively does, the, the advantage of doing that is that um, you're not going to have any apparent misalignment, as you can see here. So let me let me actually um, show you the cards that are coming out of my um, Fiskars Precision Rotary Bypass Trimmer here. Right, so the card backs and fronts are going to appear very, very professionally done with no apparent misalignment and all of the cards are going to uh, appear quite consistent as a result of how I formatted um, these cards. And so what I'll do right now let me just finish this up right here. So I placed some um, crosshair cutting guides on the back side of these cards, and I'm cutting them from the back. And doing so, cutting your cards from the back, is going to ensure that uh, all of your cards are going to be consistent from the back. So they won't be marked, quote unquote. There you go. Another set of cards completed. So the sheets look like this. All right, this is the card backs. And you'll see the crosshair cutting guides I placed inside the card images. Ignore the um, other crosshair cutting guides uh, that are on the on the card edges themselves. I'm not cutting using those. And then this is the front, and since I'm not cutting from the front, then there's no cutting guide over here. All right, so let's get a cut started for a new sheet. So I line up my um, cutting edge, my blade, with the cutting guides that are inside the card boundaries. Get that started. And you just have to be careful. Um, you just have to make sure that your um, blade edge is aligned with the corner crosshair cutting guides, uh, the proper corner cr crosshair cutting guides. I will say that I'm glad that I have this Fiskars Precision Bypass Trimmer for this job. Because otherwise, I'd have to use either my Fiskars Shortcut Slide Style Trimmer, which, while convenient and easy to use and requires a little effort, and I can use it while sitting down, um, the drawback is that it's not quite as precise. It's precise enough for most kind of casual card production uh, projects, but this particular project... I am trying to have the highest standard of card quality. And so as a result, I need a better um, paper trimmer. And so that's what I'm using right now. Um, this Fiskars Precision Bypass, uh, Bypass Trimmer was a gift to me from my lovely wife. And um, it cost, well, I don't want to, I'm not supposed to know how much it cost, but uh, I don't know exactly how much he got it for, but it's around $130 uh, if it's if you can't find it on discount. Um, I have seen it, like say on Amazon, when it goes on sale, for around $80. And if you are able to get this, I mean, it's worth it at full price for me, just because of how much I use it and how precise it is. Um, but if you're able to find it for $80, I would say just snap it up. Because, and you know, without hesitation, because um, it's just 
so useful for me for print and play purposes. Okay, so this video is about five minutes long. I'm going to upload it to the print and play hideaway, but I thought, just thought that you might want to get a glimpse of um, how I am producing this uh, print and play of comic hunters. All right, this is Martin, and I'm be signing off for now.